I think this is nonsense. Well, you would say that, wouldn't you? Here's a call in Pimlico. Hello, Michael. Nick, how are you? Good, mate. Greetings. Greetings. I've just come home with my fish and chips from mm. Luther Street. Mmm. Yum, yum. Now, I was going off to bed with the uh, earpiece in. You mentioned the Nazi uniform. An earpiece? Yes, the earpiece for the radio. One earpiece? I'm married. No, I share it with my Jenny. <laughs> She's in bed. She's, we we're resting. It's been a long week. I used to have one earpiece <laughs> on listening to um, Radio Luxembourg back that's in, uh, oh, about 50, 100, 150 years ago. Well, that's what I had as well, in Berkhamstead, 1970. One very, very scratchy go. radio receptor with one tinny little earpiece. That's it. Yeah. That's the ticket. Now, Hugo Boss. Mm -hmm. Hugo Boss. Yeah. Did he not design the Nazi uniforms? What, personally? Yes. I know his company had something to do with the manufacture of them. Um, he personally took um, and advised them, yeah, very much so. Right. Yeah. So well, we're not still holding that against him, are we? Well, I think... I, I have no idea. There must be a lot of people wearing Hugo Boss today walking around the streets not knowing that. Well, there's just a lot of people who drive Volkswagens. I mean, Hitler called them the, the, the Beetle, the people's uh, car, or something like the Volkswagen. That's right, yeah. very correct. And nobody, nobody holds that against Volkswagen. Oh, oh. I'm not in the pub tonight, Nick. I'm not up the road in Goya. I'm quietly here at home going to bed. The other thing was, you mentioned the train. What's that got to do with it? <laughs> 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 you mentioned the trains, Nick. I read today, by the way, that um, yes. the beer sales are up, 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 up. Oh. Oh, I do like good, a bit of London pride. They're down, uh, historically speaking, because uh, people don't go to pubs anymore and, you know, who can afford f we four do. quid for a pint? We do. But um, on, on the last year, uh, yeah. the, uh, the, uh, the licensing trade has had a, uh, something of a fillip. I, well, there you go. Not in Chelsea and Pimlico, as you know. Um, secondly, the trains were, um, I'm led to believe, it, I don't think it was so much Hitler, but it was a wonderful, wonderful, as he was so wonderful, he wasn't at all, was um, uh, Mussolini. He's the one that kept the trains on time. Now, there was a giant flaming ass. Yes, an absolute ass. The whole mob. But um, I'm going off to bed now. I was in bed. I've got out of bed to make this call. Um, it's a bit early. Do you have to get up early? I do. Channel oh. 4, old boy, and round the corner, a bit of CNBC. Um, next time I see you, I'll um, put the elbow into your back and uh, we'll have a pint. Uh, right. Yes. I'm, I'm, OK, I'll... Um, <laughs> not if I see you first. I'll look forward to that. Who was Hello. that? <laughs> no idea. He's talking to me like we, like we know each other. I have no idea who that was. Who was that? Do I know who that person? That was Michael in Pimlico. Yeah. Do you, do you go to Pimlico much? N never. Why would anybody go to... Well, only to the Tate Britain, which, by the way, they've had a, a, a re... They had a rehang of the uh, modern British collection. Um, they call it the BP walkthrough. It's, um, it, it's something associated with BP that's not a natural disaster. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic, and everybody should, should go and try it. Um, it's brilliant. And they, they've even got the Chapman Brothers, um, Chapman Family Values, I think that's what it's called, at the, uh, more or less at the end. It's, uh, I won't to spoil it for you, but it's a room that you walk in, you go, ooh, and you go, ah, and then you go, ah. So you didn't go, meh? No. Not that. So there are no. some things that you don't go, meh? Yeah. All art. right. Well, I'm glad we've established that. That's the only reason that anybody, that anybody would go to Pimlico unless they actually live there, because, uh, oh, Pimlico, there's, uh, there's no end of uh, interesting uh, delights <laughs> in Pimlico. Boring! It couldn't be more dull. There's nothing there. Well, it's just a, a bridge, really, isn't it? And just a big cross, crossroad. Actually, it, there is nothing there. They, they had a big um, tower by Vauxhall Bridge which was this um, uh, derelict office building, a massive uh, affair, and I went by it in the cab but one night, and almost the very next night I went by, it had disappeared. Really? Millions, <laughs> millions of tons of building had just gone. Where did they take it from? Well, it was an office, or it was never, it no, never it made a, it to be an office? It was a gigantic, old, hideous office block that is now, um, like, flat earth. Mm. Uh, presumably, it's being prepared for uh, another... Houses. ...charmless mm. tower of tiny flatlets that will have been pre-sold to Malaysian 
um, uh, property developers and uh, rent it out to transient uh, Londoners who uh, aren't going to live there for the long term. Another one of those. No An doubt. entire wall of them blocking in the Thames, which, by the way, still isn't being used. Uh, it's our um, most untapped, uh, widest, and uh, most delightful thoroughfare. No one uses it. Mm. Tourists, that's all. Or even just to get stuff from A to B. Well, you'd you know, think just so. Just cargo yes, would be Take the be lorries brilliant. off the roads, exactly. Absolutely.